Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Laura Sokola, and if you're like me, at some point you've gotten into an argument with someone and one person says, why are you mad? What did I say? And the response is, it's not what you said, it's how you said it. Now, in my last video, I explained that what you say does matter. But the bigger problem is that if you don't deliver those words in a way that seems to reinforce their meaning, then you're sending mixed messages, and that makes the listener doubt that you really mean what you say. Bye-bye, credibility. For example, in that argument we just mentioned, did you say, I said it's fine, do what you want? I think half of you just looked over your shoulder and went, Mom, is that you? The problem is that the words, it's fine, are permissive and accepting. But the sharpness of the voice implies it is not fine with me at all. So you can do it, but there will be consequences. What about at work? If you say, I know budgets are tight, but I think we really need to prioritize development funding. Your words expressed an opinion, but your voice trailed off and fried out at the end. There's no conviction or authority, so you sound like you aren't totally sure of yourself, and you might even be intimidated by the other person. At that point, they get the sense that they could easily say no or just ignore you because you wouldn't push back. Your voice has a whole spectrum of qualities you probably never even thought about how to use, all of which influence the impact of your words. Want to learn how to use your voice to your best advantage? Get a complimentary bonus ticket to my upcoming live training event in Philadelphia so I can personally teach you to speak with your best leadership voice. Just go to speakingtoinfluence.com and check out bonus package number two. Find your voice and find your power. See you in Philadelphia.